I'm Dennis Martin, President of Demartech. In today's video, we will discuss the Demartech iSCSI Deployment Guide 2011, one in a series of Demartech Deployment Guides. This guide is available on our website in our iSCSI zone at www.demartech.com slash iSCSI or by searching the internet for iSCSI Deployment Guide in any well-known search engine. There is quite a bit of information in our iSCSI Deployment Guide, far too much to include in this highlight video, so we encourage you to download the guide from our website. Several iSCSI product and solution vendors participated with us in this deployment guide. These vendors were Broadcom, Chelsea, Emulex, HP, Intel, NetApp, QLogic, and Ziotech, also now known as XIO. They provided some of their solutions that we tested. There is a chapter for each of them in our iSCSI deployment guide highlighting their specific solutions. We consulted with our friends at IDC who provided some storage marketplace data and gave us permission to reproduce it in the Demartech iSCSI Deployment Guide 2011. Here is one of the charts showing the storage protocols by terabyte shipped, showing strong growth for iSCSI as a storage protocol through the year 2015. Additional data is included in our report. In our iSCSI Deployment Guide, we discussed the difference between Direct Attached Storage (DAS), Network Attached Storage (NAS), and Storage Area Networks (SANs). We explain where iSCSI can play a role in your storage deployment plan. We also discuss how it compares with other SAN technologies such as Fiber Channel, including some discussion on pricing, performance, and reliability of iSCSI technology. In theory, iSCSI can be deployed over any speed of Ethernet. We've even tested it here over Wi-Fi at the Demartech Labs, and it does work, though we don't recommend it for security, performance, and latency reasons. As 10 gigabit Ethernet becomes more common, we expect to see iSCSI become an increasingly viable choice for storage even in large enterprises. Of course, in order to deploy an iSCSI SAN, we need storage targets. There are a lot of options available from many storage and server vendors. The Martech Labs tested several disk arrays and storage appliances from HP, NetApp, and Ziotech, now known as XIO. Servers can also be made into iSCSI targets by implementing iSCSI target software and dedicating some of the server's own storage as iSCSI LUNs. For example, we deployed Microsoft's iSCSI software target in the lab on Windows Server 2008 R2 with a direct attached SAS array and served iSCSI LUNs to several iSCSI initiators. On the client side, good server class network adapters are important for reliability and performance. Desktop class adapters may not be able to handle a heavy iSCSI load. For this deployment guide, we tested 1 gigabit and 10 gigabit server class adapters from Broadcom, Chelsea, Emulex, Intel, and QLogic. Here's the diagram showing the products that we deployed. Let's consider the initiator. Microsoft has offered a software initiator as part of their operating system since Windows Vista. It can be accessed from the device manager or simply by typing iSCSI initiator at the start menu. If you'd like to see a demonstration on how to configure the Microsoft iSCSI initiator, please check out our iSCSI initiator video on the Demartech YouTube channel. We showed that it's so easy even a 10-year-old can do it. In our iSCSI deployment guide, we discuss the difference between software and hardware initiators and show examples of each. We demonstrate three different ways to create iSCSI LUNs in VMware vSphere 4.1 and Microsoft Hyper-V. For both of these virtualization environments, two of the three methods work with the hypervisor as it makes the storage available to the guest operating system. The other method allows the guest operating system access to iSCSI storage without requiring intervention from the hypervisor. Configuring a single iSCSI initiator or target is relatively simple, but how do you manage many iSCSI initiators and targets? This is where the Internet Storage Name Service, or ISNS, comes in. It's a protocol used between ISNS clients and ISNS servers to facilitate automated discovery, management, and configuration of iSCSI devices. ISNS isn't needed for basic iSCSI deployment, but as the number of targets and initiators in an iSCSI SAN fabric increases, it simplifies management by allowing iSCSI initiators to automatically discover available targets rather than manually configuring them. Are there best practices to use for iSCSI? Yes, there are, and we've put together a list of these in our deployment guide. We're working on other guides in the Demartech Deployment Guide series. If you'd like to be notified when the next deployment guide becomes available, sign up for our free monthly newsletter at demartech.com newsletter. You can also sign up for our newsletter by texting Demartech Lab Notes to 22828. Message and data rates may apply. If you have a product or technology that you believe should be included in our deployment guides, email me at dennis at demartech.com. Remember, the Demartech iSCSI Deployment Guide 2011 is available on our website in our iSCSI zone at demartech.com slash iSCSI or by searching the internet for iSCSI Deployment Guide using any well-known search engine. I'm Dennis Martin and thanks for watching.